Jenny's getting really tired now. How are you feeling? But look at the views. As beautiful as it is out here, and as many time lapses as I want to film, it is way too cold. And it's about, I think it's about minus five, minus 10 maybe. And we just need to head down, get back into the warmth, warm up again have some hot tea but the views here are incredible even before the sun's fully risen um, but Jenny's really in a bad way in terms of coldness so better get inside so it's day 10 we are making our way down now we're starting at 5,140 meters, and we're going to make our way down to about 4,200 meters. It's going to feel good. Should take about five or six hours, hopefully. Um, but we've left quite late because we were tired from this morning, um, and there's a lot of yaks out which are going to slow us down because we've got to constantly wait for them to pass. Talking of which, there's some behind us, so we better get a move on. We've already made it from Gorakshep all the way down to La Bouche. We're gonna to go to Thukla, have some lunch, and then we're gonna end in Fariche for the day. Change of plan for us. We stopped for lunch at Dugla, where we had a lovely night uh, a couple of nights ago. And we were chatting to the guy there, and he convinced us that we should actually carry on the whole way to Pangboshe. So it's about another six kilometers maybe, um, but it's also mainly downhill. Um, Basically, he was like, there's a marathon tomorrow. Yeah. Um, which is insane in itself. Um, and we don't want to be caught up with all these runners coming past us and we're trying to just make our way down. Yeah. So the further we can go today, the better. It's day 11, we spent last night in Pangboshe, really nice lodge called the Himalaya Sherpa Resort, we think. Um, actually one of our cheapest nights of the trip so far. It's noticeably cheaper down at lower elevations. Except when you get to Namche. Yeah. Um, we're making our way from 3,930 meters today down to 3,440 meters. Um, but there's quite a lot of climbing on the route. A lot of up and down. A lot of up and down. And to make matters worse, it's the marathon today, the Tenzing Hillary Marathon. And so they're gonna start running past us at some point. And so we're gonna to have to be standing aside. But shouldn't be too hard. Might be about five and a half hours. Five and a half hours. And we should be in Namche. It's a tough climb when even the yaks are sitting down. We made it back to Namche. It's been quite a hard day for us. Both of us have really painful feet. Uh, we're both very tired. It was only 13 kilometers as opposed to 20 yesterday, but it felt up and down and it felt much further. Yeah, and we were run, walking along with a lot of the marathon runners as well. They uh, they've just finished here, we've just seen them. We're gonna make our way into town, try and find somewhere to sleep, and call it a night tonight, really early, so that we can be ready for our long walk again tomorrow. I think it's about another 10 kilometers. 
It's day 12 today and we've just left Namche Bazaar. Last night we stayed in a really nice place called Sherpa Land Hotel. Uh, the food was amazing, the bed was super comfy, it was really warm um, and I even managed to do a bit of charging which doesn't always come so easily. Um, we're going to make our way down to Facting which is past Monjo where we stayed on our first night and if everything goes to plan we should be there in four to five hours um, ready for our next day which is our last day walking to Lukla tomorrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, after what, 12 days, it's now decided it's going to start raining on our second to last day. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be too bad, it's only drizzling at the moment, but we thought we'd put on our ponchos and our rain jackets and our waterproof bag covers just in case. Pretty tired after the last couple of days of walking, our feet were really hurting. So we stopped about half two in a place called Facting, um, and we're just kind of resting up a bit. We've got our last walk tomorrow to Lukla, so we're going to call it a night, and tomorrow we can't wait to check in for our flight. It's day 13, the last day of walking. Thank God. Yeah, and we're making our way today from Facting to Lukla. Uh, should only be about eight and a half kilometers, but I think it'll probably take about four hours because we're quite tired now, our feet are hurting, and uh, we've just kind of had a bit of enough of all the walking. Finally made it to Lukla. We've checked out the tourist police station and now we're going to try and make our way to the airport to see if we can check in either for tomorrow or if there are any more flights. I think it's probably a bit late already though. What day is it? I don't know. It's the day that we're going home and I'm really excited. We're really excited. Neither of us could sleep very well last night because we were just excited to get back to Kathmandu. Hopefully our flight takes off. We're currently waiting in the airport and it's a sunny day so hopefully it stays sunny and we get back to the a very very scary flight and we've run out bought some shower gel shampoo because we absolutely reek because we have not showered for two weeks and it's pretty disgusting Feel wow so much better that was the best shower i've ever had in my entire life i did like three shampoos it's yeah. pretty good it was such a good trip though to do the everest base camp trek we had such a good time but i think we're just super happy now to be back to be able to relax and unwind a bit we've got about six days in Nepal when we should just try and catch up on some sleep and some cleaning and send some stuff back to the UK. Mm -hmm. 